In this video, I make a metal break. I'll need this for a future project. After some Googling, I found this design online. I'll include a link to the original video in the description. We're going to need hinges, a couple lag bolts, nut, fender washers or washers, wing nuts, and a couple compression springs. The main parts of the brake are made from 2 inch by 1.5 inch angle steel. The clamping part of the brake is made from a one and a half inch piece of angle steel. If you don't reverse the hinge, the two pieces of angle steel will not bend exactly at the midpoint.
So adding this spring here will allow it to push up on this bracket. So that way when you slip the metal underneath the brake, you don't have to try to lift this up. I also have to cut these bolts down. So I got some of this steel tubing left over from another project and I have a metal rod here, steel rod, but it doesn't quite fit. So I'm just going to machine out this inside just maybe a thousandth, maybe, I don't know, a couple thousandths of an inch and weld this onto the piece that bends and then this rod, this steel rod will be the handle. So I'm going to machine this out right now on the lathe real quick. So to use the brake is very easy. We just loosen these bolts. The spring automatically pushes up the brace. Take a piece of metal, fit it in, right like that. Tighten the brace back down. and then bend. That works beautiful. All right, time to paint it. The limit of this bender is around 18 gauge stainless. As you can see here, the metal brake lifts up a little bit on the thicker and wider pieces of stainless. As a slight modification for bending thicker pieces of stainless, I clamp down the brake at the points closest to the metal I'm bending. This makes the bends a lot sharper. If I were to remake this brake for bending specifically stainless, I would use a much larger piece of angle steel as it would be a lot stiffer. but this works for my needs, so I'm not gonna bother to change anything else. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be using this metal break in a future project, so stay tuned for that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And that's it for now, bye.